fifth grade. Today's lesson is a review of how to estimate sums and differences. If you take a look at example number one, each of these numbers is rounded to the nearest hundred. So 398 rounds to 400, 257 rounds to 300, 285 rounds to 300, and 318 rounds to 300. Then you would add each of those up and as you can see the total sum then would be 1300. So how do you know which number to round, whether round it up or down? Okay, so if you just take a look at the, the second digit in from the hundreds, so you're looking at the tens place in this case, if the number is five or greater, you round up. Okay, if it's less than five or four, or less, then you round it down. Okay? If you take a look at example number two, okay, now we're looking at how to round decimals. So 8.3 rounds to 8, 10.9, 10.9 rounds to 11. Once again, you look at the decimal, if the number is 5 or greater, then you would round the whole number up. If it's less than 5, then it stays the same. So notice 8.3 stays 8. 10.9 rounds to 11. And then when you add those up, the answer is 19. Okay, in the next two examples, it works the same with estimating and subtraction. So we have 86,395. In this case, we're going to round to the nearest 10,000. Okay, so 86,395 rounds to 90,000, and 23,783 rounds to 20,000. So for rounding to the nearest 10,000, once again, you'd have to say, okay, well, we're going to be looking at this digit. Okay, if it's 5 or greater, we round up to the nearest 10,000, and if it's four or less will round down to the nearest 10,000. So 90,000 minus 20,000 is 70,000. Okay, and then finally, estimating differences with decimals. Okay, 6.75 in example four, we round it to seven. Once again, we look at that second digit. If it's five or greater, we're gonna round the whole number up to seven. And if it were to be less than 5 or 4 or less, we would keep it the same. 3.9 rounds to 4, then you'd subtract 7 minus 4 is 3. So pretty simple. The textbook talks about front end estimation. We're not going to do that. We'll just, this is the most common form of estimation, so we'll keep it at this.